G'day you cheeky dogs, today we're going to talk about the Bluey Fest countdown, the hottest 100 of the top 100 Bluey episodes. Yes, if I called it hottest 100, if you're from Australia, you understand why. But I'm going to break down everything season by season, like how each one did, which season won overall, some really surprising episodes that got into the top 100. <laughs> And of course, episodes that did not make the top 100 from each season, which I think is just shocking. Oh, okay. But first, if you're new here and you love Bluey as much as I do, don't forget to hit that like button down below, as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. Now with that all being said, let's roll the intro and get into the Bluey Fest numbers. G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. So I'm going to start with season one and let me know in that comment section down below what your favorite episodes from season one were and any surprises that you find with this information that I'm about to give you. So overall season one has 52 episodes and 31 of those made the top 100 and 21 didn't. And something I find really interesting about the stats is that I feel like a lot of people when they were voting must have just looked at like the episode list and started off with those with their kids alongside them because the first five episodes of season one all made it into the top 100. So I feel like they obviously all got voted for quite often. Often. But it's not as fun now. Can you make it hard again? And you don't really see that with season two and season three with the first five episodes. But of course, we do have to talk about the fact that two episodes made it into the top 10 and that was Grannies and Camping. I think we all knew that Camping was definitely gonna make it. Bonjour. Hi. But Grannies might've been a bit of a surprise to some people. And but again, I feel like it's really reflective of how this vote was very much half parents or adults voting and half their kids voting as well. The shop's closed, Rita. Pardon? Because Grannies is a really memorable episode for kids. And of course, it was the introduction of the Grannies and so many quotable lines in that episode. Just have a na 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 love. And whilst I know a lot of people don't like the flossing in it, I still can see why it made into the top 10. I hope we still floss at their age. Now, Barbecue and Bumpy and the Wise Old Wolfhound, of course, also made it into the top 25. There wasn't a lot from season one that made it into the top 25, but those episodes got in there as well. I was sick last week. Oh, I had rabies. But 21 episodes did not. And I'm still fuming that Blue Mountains somehow managed to escape those 21 episodes and made it into the top 100. I'm not so sure. Like, Blue Mountains beat The Claw and Yoga Ball, both which I think are very like top tier episodes for parents and for kids. Like just the lessons alone, but the quotable lines. I am Magic Claw. Magic Claw has no children. His days are free and easy. I'm so surprised that it beat those two episodes. But not only that, Blue Mountains also beat Copycat in the top 100 as well. Like Copycat was number 79 and Blue Mountains was number 71. So that's still, I feel like that shocks me because I feel like as a parent or as an adult, Blue Mountains is of course not as interesting to us, but there was gotta be a lot of kids out there that love Blue Mountains. So well, well done, Blue Mountains, well done. Oh, come on, little sister. Now who's being boring? Hey! Of course, episodes The Zoo, Hide and Seek, and The Doctor, I'm not surprised that those didn't make it into the top 100. For me, those are also like sort of my bottom episodes when I like rank all of mine. Not that they're bad episodes, but I'm not surprised really that they didn't make it. This is the biggest pickle I've ever seen. Come with me right away. I am, however, of course, super stoked that the Veranda Santa special, the Christmas special, did make it into the Hottest 100. It was number 55. And it, to me, it is also one of my top tier episodes. It is just super special and sort of the beginning of showing the world what Christmas is like in Australia. How does Santa get in? There's no chimney. Maybe he uses the veranda. Oh yeah! Now that's a quick overview of season one, so let's have a look then at season two. But quickly, before we do, this video is not sponsored. However, speaking of Veranda Santa and Australian Christmas, I actually have a Christmas book that I wrote. My husband was the illustrator of it. We had it published a few years ago. It's called My Santa, Your Santa, and it's available on Amazon worldwide as a paperback and a hardcover. The hardcover one also has like activity pages in the back as well. But we made this book because there was nothing else like it out there. And that frustrated us because we've lived in a couple of different countries and Santa is different everywhere, but it's still Santa. And Santa can be different for different families as well. So we wanted to create a book that reflected that and showed the magic of Santa at Christmas and how he can look like anyone depending on where you live in the world. Okay dad, you be Veranda Santa first. My turn! <laughs> Who wants to be Veranda Santa? Me! 
Strap yourselves in, kids. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll leave a link for it in the description box down below, as well as the pinned comment down below as well. But let's go into our season two with, of course, Christmas Swim, another Christmas episode. And let's just break down all of season two with Bluey Fest. Yes, 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 yes. Now, again, we had 52 episodes in season two and 36 of those episodes made it into the top 100, but 16 didn't. <laughs> no! I feel like season one, you can really see like the kids voting in that one. Whereas season two, I feel like the parents voting choices were a bit more prominent and a bit more obvious as well. So how many BTUs has this one got? It's probably another bluey. Season two had the most episodes in the top 10. They had five overall, so they kind of like beat out the top 10. But overall for the top 25, they had eight episodes. And honestly, for me, the one that surprised me the most was Bin Night. Hi, Bin. Hi, those dogs are back. Oh, they got food. Gimme, gimme. I was not expecting this season two episode to make it into the top 10. Yeah, the top 100, but I didn't expect it to beat out episodes like ARMY. Like that really surprised me. See you, Jack. Hey, Rusty. His dad brought it back from patrol. And even other episodes like Grandad and Flatpak and Dad Baby, I'm glad they made it into like the top 50. But again, I'm really surprised that Bin Knight beat them out. And Bin Knight's a great episode, but so are those. Like, I feel like those are like amazing episodes. That was a long time ago. No, uh, it was yesterday. So I feel like, again, Bin Knight is a good reflection of like where kids have definitely voted for an episode. And that's kind of one out maybe against like the adults voting for an episode. Yes. Is it mom and dad? Is it a... Lucky Star, can you give us a hand with something? Yeah, no worries, Bluey. I didn't know this was the something. Now, like I said, 16 of these episodes did not make it into the top 100 Bluey Fest episodes. And honestly, out of those, four of them I'm not really that surprised about. And that would be Typewriter, Helicopter, Tickle Crabs, and Favorite Thing. Those are also like in my bottom list of season two episodes. So I'm not super surprised that those ones didn't make it in. However, we need to talk about the show. Oh yes, I've heard very good things about this production. And the fact that that episode did not make it into the top 100. I ruin everything. Which shocked me because like it's a special episode. It's a Mother's Day episode. It also comes like with the whole like checklist for bingo of what to do when you're sad. Have a cry. Check. Pick myself up. Check. Dust myself off. Check. And keep going. Like it's overall I feel like a great episode and of course is the most theorized episode. So then they... And the only one that was confirmed. It's our only really confirmed Bluey theory about Chili having the miscarriage. That's what this episode was about. I'm just so shocked that this episode is so talked about all the time, but it just did not make it into the top 100. We can't do the show without you. Your mum. For me as well, like Squash, Mom School and Octopus are also like top tier episodes for me. But again, I feel like those are very, or at least Mom School and Octopus are very like parenting adult ones to show reflecting of like how we feel. And I know Squash was just such a great one about brothers and siblings and I really loved that one. Because big sisters don't always beat little sisters. <laughs> So I'm surprised that those ones didn't make it and that yet again, Blue Mountains made it over them. I will hold on to this and never let it go. But what do you cheeky dogs think about the season two episodes? Let me know in the comment section down below. Were there any surprises for you about the episodes that did not make it into the top 100? Back to work, peasant. I mean, carry on. All right, moving on to season three. Now, this season, of course, is a little different. We only have 47 episodes compared to 52 from season one and season two. And we still have three episodes to go. We have Ghost Basket, Surprise, and The Sign, which is the 28 minute special. And based off what I know about these three episodes, I think that, yeah, all three of them would have made it into the top 100 without a doubt. They're all very good episodes. But keeping this aside, 33 episodes from season three did make it in and 15 didn't, which is pretty impressive for like the brand new season that people maybe not have watched as many times as season one and season two. <gasps> And this season, I feel like, is a really solid mix of parents and kids voting. So season one, mostly kids votes, I think. Season two, mostly adult votes. But season three is a pretty solid mix of the two. Boo! We're gonna flog ya! Boo! We're gonna flog ya! 
So I'm going to break down the episodes that didn't make it in based off like season 3A, 3B and 3C, seeing as we had such a unique release schedule with this season. So the episodes from season 3A that didn't make it were Perfect, Promises, Sheepdog, Explorers, Phones, Driving, Tina and Ragdoll. And again, I'm not super surprised about a lot of these. The only one from this that I would feel deserves higher is Explorers. It's a Jack-centric episode and Jack is definitely a fan favourite. But also, for me as an Australian, like, I love this episode and I teared up at the end of it because it was so Aussie. I didn't give up. Well done, mate. Is this Australia? Yeah, mate. This is Australia. But... I think again, it's really reflective. There were 50,000 votes for this and majority of these are obviously from within Australia. And I feel like the reason that Explorers spoke to me so much is because I'm an Australian not in Australia. So that's why I loved it even more. So I feel like maybe it wouldn't come across that way as much to people who are in Australia right now. Well, it's a bit of a bush road and you look like a bit of a... Go on. A city fella? Look, mate. Just show me the shortcut. Now, season 3B, Musical Statues didn't make it. I'm not surprised. It's a great episode, but it's probably out of 3B, the bottom of the list for them. But Stories and Puppets didn't make it, and I'm actually kind of shocked about that. Wow! Like, Stories was such a fun episode with Winton, and Puppets was just... It, it was a unicorn sequel. It was incredible. It was so funny, and it had that amazing fourth wall break at the end. <laughs> So I'm kind of surprised that these two didn't make it in, but I do feel like overall season 3B was like really, really solid. Like it would have been really hard to pick from those. And again, season 3C, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that Exercise, Show and Tell and Wild Girls didn't make it. Oh, oh, oh! Coco, that's some sad howling. Wild Girls, I feel like was a fun episode, but it wasn't what anyone was really expecting. And so I'm not surprised it's at the bottom of the list. Exercise, of course, was super controversial and I know definitely hasn't got as much airtime as the other episodes. So again, I'm not really surprised about that one. You see, blah, 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 skeleton, blah, 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 blah mitochondria. Make sense? No. And show and tell, show and tell for me is kind of like on the same level as like relax. Like they were both good episodes, but you, like I've already kind of forgotten about show and tell. Show and tell, bingo. I'm good at the showing bit, but not good at the telling bit. So I'm, I'm not super surprised about that. But let me know down below if you were really surprised about any of these episodes that were missing out of the top 100. Now, overall, season three had three episodes in the top 10, which was Cricket, Granny Mobile, and Rain. And both surprising and unsurprising, I guess. Like Cricket, yes, we kind of figured was going to be number one. It is a super Australian episode. It has a flash forward at the end. It's got guest stars in it. It's one of the most recent ones, and it got a lot of news coverage as well. What a catch! <laughs> That's what cricket's about, kid. I feel like this is very much like an adult vote. Like a lot of adults would have chosen cricket. So I feel like that's very reflective of it. But on the flip side, Granny Mobile, I feel like is not something that a lot of adults would have voted for, but a lot of kids would have. Master! Yes, Nana. And you're going over too many cracks. It's a footpath. Don't Ow. talk that to me, sonny. Because I know I personally was very surprised that Granny Babiel made it, especially over episodes like Sleepy Time. So I think a lot of people were kind of shocked, but I I love Granny Babiel. It's a muffin redemption story. It's super funny. It's a granny story. We get a new granny. Hello, Greta. It's a super granny. So I can see why it got into the top 10, but I am a little surprised that it did make it to the top three. Yep, you are one in a million. <laughs> Another one as well that I think people might be surprised about is the fact that Cubby got into the like top 25 as well. It was number 18. And again, I feel like this is very reflective of kids votes. My son loves Cubby. It is one of his favorite episodes and he still talks about it even now, even though we haven't watched it as much as other episodes. How on earth do I get to the toilet? This place is nuts! So I understand why Cubby as well definitely made it in there. Out of the top 100 episodes and the season three ones that made it in, the one I think I'm most surprised about is probably Space making it at number 73 and again getting beaten by Blue Mountains. But I'm also not super surprised because I know there's a lot of confusion about the episode Space and whilst a lot of people did notice what it was about straight away, a lot of other people didn't quite get it. And I made a whole breakdown video about it. It's one of my like more popular videos and I can see why, because a lot of people were 
Googling what does space mean? Like what what's going on in that episode? So I understand why people loved it, but were also a bit confused by it. So I kind of I kind of get why it's down there. Oh, aliens! Oh. Yeah! Oh. 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 Mackenzie! You made it back! The only other surprising ones for me was, of course, Housework and Omelette making it in. Both episodes, though, of course, have music that was in the Dance Mode album, so I can sort of see why they were a bit more popular. But I am surprised still that they beat out Stories and Puppet from Season 3. <laughs> that was the best omelette I've ever had in my life. Hey! But let me know down below, Season 3, what did you think of the episodes that didn't make it? What did you think about the ones that did and how they ranked? Do you think the Granny Mobile deserved the number three spot. I'm really curious what you guys think. Now, overall, who won Bluey Fest out of each season? Now, ABC Kids on Facebook also did officially release the stats for some of these episodes and it broke it down by like state and what percentage voted. New South Wales won, not surprisingly, that's our most populated state. So, I mean, that makes sense. Again, it already showed that season two did have the most episodes in it. But something really cool was showing that every single state voted as cricket for their number one episode, which was awesome. Now, they did also promise to have more stats out but I've been waiting for three days now and they still haven't published anything so I'm just going ahead with this video. And if we look at the stats for it I think it's kind of interesting. So in the top 25 season one had five episodes, season two had eight episodes and season three had 13 episodes. Ooh. So technically season three won that first quarter. They had the most in the top 25. However season two did have the most in the top 10. They had five episodes in that. So it's like a very close tie but I'm for going by quarters I'd say season three won overall. And interestingly then if you look at the bottom quarter as well, like the bottom 25 episodes, it's kind of flipped. Season 1 has 11 episodes, so the most in the bottom 25, season 2 with 9, and season 3 with 5. So again, I feel like this kind of really proves that season 3 is winning overall, basically in terms of like the top episodes and the least amount in the bottom episodes. However, like I said, season two though is pretty high up there and it did technically win the stats. Yeah! 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 Season two had the most in the top 100 overall. They had 36 in there compared to season one at 31 episodes and season three at 33 episodes. Like I said though, season three is still missing three episodes and I do think they all would have made the top 100, technically then bumping it up as the best season. But we're not including those. So technically overall, season two is the one that won with the most episodes in the top 100. But I think this is something really cool because it kind of shows that Bluey is just going from like strength to strength to strength with each season, which can be really rare for a television show. Because a lot of the time, like the first season is usually like the best one and then it can kind of maybe go 50-50 on season two. But usually the later seasons are never as good as the first one or two seasons. So the fact that season three did so well in Bluey Fest I think is fantastic and just really proves the point that we are going to be getting a season four, that this is not going to end anytime soon because it just gets better and better and better and it's getting more and more popular. So I'm not surprised at all. But Cheeky Dogs, that was the overall breakdown from Bluey Fest over on the weekend and the top 100 episodes and how they ranked with each season. I can't wait to read your comments down below about what you guys thought about this. I do of course have Happy Healer Days coming up in December where every day of December I'm I'm going to be releasing a Bluey themed video and in those videos I do have a season one, season two and season three tier ranking video. Yes I realized that tier ranking videos were like a big thing like two years ago. I don't care I'm still doing it anyway because I feel like it's really relevant especially with Bluey Fest and it's a really fun thing that we can all chat about as well in the live chat too. So to make sure that you don't miss those episodes make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release the happy healer day videos but until then I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah. Bye!